Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 36 of Motorsport Manager. My name's Simon and we have just had possibly one of the most luckiest podiums of my entire racing career here in Motorsport Manager. Uh, we have the worst car on the grid, apparently the worst driver combo, although I really don't agree with that. Um, I think that's taking into account our um, reserve driver. Uh, but somehow we got third and eighth and I've no idea how. Um, there was quite a lot of reliability right at the very end of that race that helped us out. We nearly won it, uh, but we just lost out right at the very end. So uh, I've had a couple of hours rest in between whilst I was just sorting out some other bits. And I've come straight back in because I'm on a high. Uh, so we've got our telemetry centre nearly done. Our upgrade to our factory is coming along. A new gearbox coming. Um, so plenty of stuff kind of going on in the background. Our car condition looked terrible by the end of that. Do we have some time? Yeah, we've got some time. After this day, have you got any thoughts on Dieter Wexler? He's an interesting driver. Yeah, I'll have that. I don't want to piss everyone off. Thanks for the support this weekend, Simon. It's a great race. Podium. Morale plus 5%. Or 5 points, rather. Great stuff. Great stuff. Right. So, <clears throat> we've got a few things that are kind of going on. So we've got our new gearbox, which is kind of plodding along. We need to improve and repair our car quickly. So car repair is complete, which took two days, which isn't great. Oh, charity work abroad for Ribeiro. Marketability plus 20%. He's, he's proper milking it at the moment. That's great. Uh, so now we need to look at what we want to actually improve uh, in terms of... Points. Now it's all allocating straight to performance. I'm not necessarily sure I like that. I'd rather go for reliability again, if I'm honest. Uh, now, what are we going to be looking at? Oh, I've still got another day to run before we fit parts. What's. Oh, we don't have what's important here. What is important? Acceleration engine pop speed. Okay, right. So, with that, that means for me, and we aren't going to get it ready in time anyway, so we need to look at improving engine performance and brake performance. Yeah, so those, two, those four are right. I think for me elsewhere, I'd quite like to get our rear wings to actually work a little bit as well um, so we'll do a couple of days on the gearbox we'll go a little bit like that just for a couple of days and then we'll flip that across we've then finished designing our gearbox How much better is it though, is the key, and does it really help? Oh, it does. Quite a fair bit, actually. So I'm going to stick that into Ribeiro's car. You already had the better gearbox anyway, so shut up, Edda. But that's not very reliable, so what I'm going to do... Let's go pure reliability on that. Hmm. I want that front wing a little bit better as well. I don't want anything below 50% if I can help it <laughs> essentially so yeah we need to sort out Ribeiro's car uh, so the engine and the brakes are going to continue there let's take a look at the design part that we're going to go for so brakes are crucial here oh we could get new brakes in you know Might make them not very reliable though. What are we gonna what can we improve on? 
Ooh, plus on both. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Right, build that. Cheap part as well, so that's good. Let's dive over to the improving. We can get rid of those brakes. What can we actually improve performance wise? Mm, that front wing looks good for performance gain. Oh, that gearbox does. Oh yes. That gearbox looks lovely. Let's let's continue with that. So there does seem to be a, a good decent gain that we can get. Uh, let's do another day or two there. And how are we looking on the old reliability stakes? It's not really catching on, is it? Never mind. Shut up about the wind tunnel, Eric. <laughs> you need to shush it a little bit. We also need to make sure that we um, renew Ribeiro's contract at some point soon. Right, let's continue on. We've got our brakes now finished, which is great. New R&D facility for Panther. Okay. the brakes oh yes so that can go to there that can go to there I feel like we're improving all the time which is good so maybe it was just a crap base of a car that we had so what should we go for next I guess for me because brakes were like the one of the best things that we had which means that we could do quite well here to be fair um, I want to look at what are we improving? Yeah, we're not even touching the suspension. Let's go for the suspension next. Uh, and let's improve. Yeah, let's go for... Yeah, let's go for medium speed improvement because we need the performance so that gets that kicked off and underway as well so much better at being aggressive with the development for my car this year which is nice I like it lots all right let's get clear off that rear wing those brakes because it's going to be the brakes that are going to make us oh and we're off to oh hello it's Scarlet's birthday oh, that's for a big party Not that she's got anything to do with us whatsoever. She's just sitting there as a reserver. Okay. Again, I'm going to go for a top 10 on the grid because I think that that's about as good as we'll ever get. Oh, excuse me, I'm just readjusting my seating position. There we go. Now, tyre wear medium. It's 
So I'm just going to go for the 654 again. It works so well that as a strategy. Uh, all the parts are fitted and that's fine. Shut up. Edda. Deal with it, girl. You knew. He's our star driver. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to Not Suzuka <laughs> and see how we get on. Oh, excuse me. It's even got the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and a bullet train. Love it. I don't seem to remember like traffic and bits like that moving around before. Oh well. Right, so we are off on our little setups of joy. Again, a high down for circuit. Let's go quite high. Let's kind of leave that at that for now. I have a feeling I'm not going to nail this setup nearly as well, especially well. So let's go for not nearly as high with you. Let's do a that. We could be very much all over the shop here. <laughs> but let's see how we get on. Again, I've not looked at what i done last time round. <laughs> I should really do that, but I don't care now. Right, race trim, four laps, off you go. And then you can follow out just a little bit afterwards. Let's see how we get on. So again, it's looking like a right mishmash of super soft softs and mediums out there at the moment. <clears throat> Everyone that's watched this kind of playthrough beforehand will know that I'll be always spying at the tyre temperatures, because that really helped us out at Doha. And force feels bang on. Okay. Good one, Edda. A more responsive handling than this, so that means softer suspension. I'd imagine. One seventeen nine, one eighteen five. Okay. Arrow is wrong. I need more downforce. Okay. Shows are just right, that's good. Sixth and eighth, nice and close together this time round, that's good. And look at how much closer we are currently at the moment on the pace. So we've already kind of, I know this is a shorter track, but we've kind of, we've done all right. Uh, come in, Ribeiro and Edda, yep, you're over the line as well, love. Come on in, my Icelandic ice girl. But again, look at the big... Dis so Chapman in the Windsor, down in 16th, on the medium tyres. So there is a huge disparity. Christ, that was a terrible setup there for Ribeiro. Only 77%. So he wanted more downforce and a softer suspension, didn't he, really? Let's go for that. And let's do a 50 again. Uh, and I'm going to still send you out on super softs. A good, good, and good. No greats or excellence, though. 87. Mm. 
So what could you need? Leave those as is. Um, I want to. Do just that, just a smeargy bit. Again, just do a little bit more because then we've got I don't even think we'll do that well we won't do the four laps because we didn't last time round, but I think we'll then get level three on super soft tires and then still get the option to go out and see what we can do on another set. So nine and eleven so far. It's looking good. I didn't take much notice of the tire temperatures, but yeah, they are rising. Area feels so much nicer now, that's good. Perfect gear ratios, that's good. Yeah, those tire temps aren't off going up quite quickly. Where are you going to go? Are you going to go Ooh, a little bit faster? Aero setup feels fantastic, says Edda. Okay, let's bring you both in. I'm not entirely sure we're doing better jobs there, so let's... Oh, yes! I'll keep that. Boop, boop, boom. Right, let's do some quality trim because we never have quality pace. Uh, and I'm quite interested to try the soft tyre. Yours looks better. A little bit. A great, a great, and a good. Mm -hmm. I have to do. Uh, and you can do a th three stint, which was what I meant for a Biro to do. Just quite keen to see because if the, if the tire temperatures, mm, no, they are going up a little bit, aren't they? More people are getting in between us. Chapman's getting faster. Bring you in. I want to cancel it. Never mind. Yay for qualifying trim. Yay for soft tyres. I think then last one for me is to quickly run out there on mediums. Uh, and do, I know it's not going to actually happen, but do a three lap quali sprint there. We might, might get mm, we might get a level one on the mediums. I don't think he gets round in time. Oh no, he'll be alright. 
as will Edda. I'm glad you're loving the handling, girl. I'm not loving your tyre temperatures, though. So regardless of what we do, you can see, look, everyone's gone to mediums. This is going to be a, yet another tyre temperature-dependent circuit. Ah, we aren't going to quite get quality. No. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. That will do me. We're in the hunt. With both cars as well, which is what I think is interesting. So the Van Dorts and the Windsors would be ahead of us as well. But look, we're ahead of Moreno again, the Catano of Bergman, but not Surikov this time. He's a bit more on the pace, but we're all really quite close. Again, Molly Fox at the back there of a chariot. But Ike Vidal is going to be our problem there. And that's why I think it was so crucial for us to get such a good start. Because I'm just... VV worried, <laughs> is all I'm going to say. We aren't going to be fifth in this title battle, I can tell. Uh, so, Quali and Super Soft. This is nice to be able to actually add a qualifying trim performance stuff. I need to do this more often. Uh, so, we were happy with the 91 in that one, weren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. Same for you. Okay, let's take Quali. Is it going to stay dry? Yes, it is. So let's send out Edda first this time round. Yeah, because that still leaves us with three... sets of super softs if we want to go that route. Okay, get that on the auto. as well. Ah, oh, shit. Smithy's an idiot. Smithy's got traffic. Let's look at Edda then, because I think Edda will probably do the better job now that she's not uh, she's not in traffic. Oh, perfect tyre temperatures as well. Loving it. Go on, Edda. Do us proud, girl. Oh, although Rubiro's got good stuff too. Oh, he's got someone right up his rear. One and a half down for Edda. Mm, doesn't look great. She goes two and a half down. There's Ribeiro. This is looking way better. 1.3! Nice! Big gap. Big gap between them. Edda, oh yeah, behind Fox there. Edda might be last. Oh Christ. Trump from 20th. This looks suspiciously like last year. <laughs> Although to be fair, there is there is now, they're not in the same type of car. So we need to make sure that we continue to develop Edda's car as well. Because otherwise we're just going to end up in trouble with a one-car team, just like what we've done for such a long time in this game. I wonder if, I, I'm assuming some other people have played this much more than I have, in that you can actually get like multiple things being made at the same time on the rail. if you improve your design. My design factory is still the worst thing, so we need to sort that out as well. I oh, know, the track's looking better now. It's going to continue to look better. Okay, so we're at three. All right, so I'm going to send one out at about 2.30 and then one out at about 1.45. Like, fuck it, go now, go now. Be proud, girl. 
Oh shit, you're coming out right behind someone. Never mind. It's okay. Wow, everyone plowing out of the pits there. Let's go now. For you, whilst there's a lovely little gap. And you can get out, hopefully. Yes, they're all coming into the pits anyway. Hua, hua, hua. Right, Edda. Yes, perfect tyres again. Go on, girl. You can do this. You was off the back row last time. You can be off the back row this time. Trust in me. Ooh, 1.4 down. Not quite. That's a shame there for Edda. Last it will be. 12 for Ribeiro. Good first sector. Not too bad second. Ah. Not quite. Oh well. I'm happy with Ribeiro being 12th. Bit of a gap there between Ribeiro and Jonstator. But we can recover that in the race. Again, this is we're early in the season, this is going to be all about survival. So uh, let me have a look at that again. So Steinman out in front. Remember they got called out uh, before we come to the race with the brakes? So that's interesting. Vexler, our last time winner there in fourth, hoping that he doesn't have a massive long pit stop and problems again. Big gap between the uh, Panthers there. Sharp and P. Egypt. Thumpton ahead of us again, a Blunk. Frieda Fisher for Rosato Corsa. So there we go, so Chariot and Kitane are again behind us. And actually both Rosato Corsas as well, so that's interesting. Nice to see Roberto Pisani not being terrible in his car either, so... <clears throat> this, it looked like we had a really spread out grid uh, at Doha, but here it already looks like we've kind of like sucked performance back up again. Alright, how are we looking? We're looking like we're staying dry all the way through still, which is good. So race trim, super soft, what's everyone else on? Oh, she's very much on her own there in the super softs at the back. Hmm, but performance advantage, let's be aggressive again. Again, because we're gonna need to sit there and go, oh God, everything's gonna explode. Again, I'm gonna remove the red zone from the car so that we don't have problems there. I think that is such a valuable thing to have. And of course you're going to start on super softs as well. Surely, uh, do I want 47 laps. Yeah, two stop. Two stop with repairs. Makes sense to me, makes sense to me. Just go super soft all the way. Sorry, Edda, we're going to be looking at Esteban Ribeiro. Go! Oh, dear. Uh, Edda, you were supposed to go, my love. Oh, God, we were terrible off the line altogether. Back past one. Back to 15th. That's not worked out very well in our favour at all. 16th. Oh, dear. 17th. No. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get one. Oof. Careful, 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 careful. Oh dear. Terrible starts by both drivers. Ooh, it's all looking a bit crash happy there, isn't it? <gasps> we're the last two cars! <laughs> uh oh! Better hope everyone else is having mechanical problems. Back past Roberto Pisani. Can Edda do it as well? 
Well done, Edda. Good girl. All right, who's next? Vidal, who is also on Super Soft. Oh, we're through anyway. Oh, is that Bergman about to block on the mediums? Yes! Well done, 16th. Who's next? Who's next? Come on. Recovery drive, Smithy. It's not Smithy. I know who I am. Don't tell me who I am! Ooh, has Edda just gone up one again? Yes, she has. She's got past Vidal. Excellent. Well done. Who we got next? It's Moreno in that chariot, I think it is. He's in, isn't he? 16 and 17 as Winstead has got past Bergman as well, so that's good. We're back onto the back of the field. Mm, this has not worked at all. We're gonna have to, you're going to have to go some peaks. Oh, down the inside? No. Come on, we can do Moreno. We need to do Moreno. Round the outside. Ooh. Shorshi. Oh, this is not helping. Right, chill out a little bit, Edda. Vidal's coming onto the back as well. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Nice. That's another one gone. Hey, Ribeiro, yes! Yes, double overtake! Oh! Edda's down to 18th, that's not helpful. Such a cluster of cars. Again, just showing how tight the midfield is, though. All right, I feel like you need a, a lap to cool your tyres just a smidge. Then you can go again. Yes, past Moreno. Well done, Edda. Doing good, gal. This is all so that we can go fucking nuts later. How's the cars looking? Cars are looking alright. Early days, though. Oh, back down to 13th. Or was we 13th anyway? I can't remember. Oh, but these are all on mediums. We need to be ahead of them. Nine seconds between 11th and 20th. Ooh, that was a terrible line there by Ribeiro. Okay, come on, dude. Now, now you can go for it, and now I want to get high engine modes for the pair. Edda. Edda's got Molly Fox up ahead on mediums. Someone should fire this strategist. It's not gone well for us at all. We're both stuck behind respective teammates actually. Fisher's holding up Ribeiro. Fox is holding up Edda. Oh dear.
Right, if we can't get through, hold off on the fuel for now and we'll go nuts later. Especially because it looks like this is a race where we could probably get lapped. Uh, conserve and conserve. Fish is dropping away slightly from Gonzalez as well, which is slightly worrying. falling back a little bit for now I'm just chilling and I'll get these little shit bags later much faster we'd be if we was in clear air. Ooh, mechanical problems for Fox already. Great. Ooh, it's all going off in the battle for the wooden spoon. So we catch back up to Fisher, but then we're not able to get through. Clearly, this is not a high overtaking circuit. <laughs> oh, that's Vidal into the pits. So he's coming in earlier. Basically, he comes out, he's lapped, or oh, it's a long stop for Vidal. Long, long stop. That's quite handy. Right, so we want Edda probably in this lap. I don't like this at all, this tyre. 30 laps remaining. Do you think mediums could do it? I think we're going to have to because we just can't seem to overtake anyone. The car seems to be running all right. So let's do it. Let's get them out the way. I'm sorry, the strategy has not worked at... Oh my god! Oh, the leader's in anyway, so that's all right. Oh, now she's going to get blue flag galore. Oh no, we're okay. still having a squabble. Alright, well that's clearly not working, so let's just hold off on this. I know, I know, your tyre temperatures are terrible. I think we're going to be okay for... That was a better stop. And we're not lapped. 
brakes feel spongy. Where did that happen? My brakes are feeling... No! No, no, no! <laughs> this isn't fair! You were fine until we pitted. God damn you. We're just going to have to deal with it. Where's Edda? Oh, these cars look slow now. Mind you, look at the temperature of the mediums. They're going up quite quickly as well. Oh, blue flag, blue flags. Okay, where are you, Ribeiro? You are ahead of Becca. Into 15, okay. See, Becker's another fast guy. He's, in the st he's a Steinman, isn't he? So quite what he's doing there, I've got no idea. And the Holtz in the soft still has super soft still hasn't pitted. That's crazy. Yeah, just look at all all the tire temperatures are just going up through the roof. That's craziness. So yeah, just conserve your way through. It looks like we're going to be struggling for a while. So I'm going to keep an eye. A beady little eye. In both these cars. Oh, I think we're going to need to, you know. Bergman, he's not even pitted yet. Ooh, careful. Right, we can make this work. He says. Oh Christ, that's falling apart as well. not pitted and we've caught him already we must have had some kind of turn of speed somewhere mind you even Edda there through the undercut is up to 14th so some of this is working oh Nina Holtz is out from the lead oh my god drama no virtual safety car no okay Camille Paget is out as well oh my god it is all kicking off. Car is driving strangely. Yes, it doesn't look great. Oh, we're up to sixth. Loads of people in the point pits. Right. Slow this one down, because this is going to get very crazy very quickly. And just chill it out, chill it out for another lap or slow. A lap or so slowly, sorry. Right, so we've got 15. Hmm. I can't decide. So they last for 20 laps. Right, let's pit. Repair. Repair. 
repair. <laughs> Do we repair that as well? Oh, it's only another four seconds, isn't it? Do it. I'd rather us finish. Go, my furry friend, go. Eddie, you're going to be next, I think. But your car's looking a bit better. <laughs> Let's pit you now because you're about to get blue flag galore. You can go back onto the super softs. We can repair that. Oh god. That'll have to do. Gonzalez is out with a mechanical issue from fourth. Oh no, she just has a mechanical issue. That's okay. Where is she? Ah oh, yes, go slow, girl. Oh, and it's a Van Dort. We don't we we can deal with a Van Dort having a terrible time. That's fine. All right, out you come as well. Right, so that has not really worked. We've had we've had more mechanical issues than everyone else. <laughs> So what I'm hoping is that now everyone else will start running into trouble and problems. So that's Moreno on the mediums. We need to get by him. We need to do it quickly. Okay, Gonzalez is to last, so that's okay. Come on, Ribeiro. Yes! Come on! Yes! Back up to 10th. Fuck yes. Who's next? Blanc. It's a little bit way up the way. Right, now we've got to rely on people basically running into shit. Which may well still quite, quite happen. I think... I would rather be conservative with some of the reliability things. Edda's not an issue so much because she's now, it was so much of a, so many of her things were problems, so you just had to kind of limp it. So Vexler and Sharp won't need to pit again, but if they do run into technical problems, then I'll have problems with them. And my fuel for Ribeiro. So let's just keep make sure we keep a vague guy on that. Gonzalez fastest lap in 18. Sorry, girl. Edda's up to 15. That's good. Past Foxy. And now's next up, and they're on slower tyres. And they're more knackered, so that's okay. And there we are, we're up to ninth. Bergman's in the pits, finally. Oh, they had a mechanical problem, that's why. Oh, they're leaving the pits. No, they're still in problem. <laughs> yeah, no, you're all right. You're all right. Oh, you're not. Oh, we're going to have to ignore it, girl. Soz -oz. Right, I'd love to get back past Blanc if I can. 14th for Edda. No, just 
chill it, girl. Just chill it. Okay, can we get Blanc? Yes, we can! Oh, superb. Who's next? Oh, Schmidt's quite a long way up the way. So let's just conserve the tyres for a little bit. Oh, Edda's up to 13th. She's got past Vidal. Nice! Moreno's next. This is all going suspiciously well towards the end. God, those engines. Ooh, worried. Oh, you're well clear of Blanc. You're not really closing on Schmidt either, so that's fine. Vidal's in the pits. Go on, Edda, you can get Moreno as well. Oh, you really can! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Oh, she's only two seconds of a point! Go, girl! Go, girl! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, go, girl! Ah, oh, she's ripping into him! Go on. Okay, let's see if we can get past Frida. Moreno's out. Mechanical probs. Oh Christ. Oh there's only two laps left. It doesn't really matter. Right, 11th then. So Fisher is the final point scorer because Moreno was in the points. Oh, leave us alone Vidal. I know you're actually faster but shush. Right, push. you can just conserve. Right, go on, go for the overtake. We could have night. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh shit! Vidal, you little shit bag. Right, fuck up Frieda's race. And we'll have that point. Yeah, get the blue flags. Oh, that was such a shame. Vidal there completely ruining everything. Never mind. But 20th to 11th, not bad, not bad at all. It's nice that we've actually got both drivers that are capable of racing. I love it. It's great. But few for 7th. Which is good. An 11th, a shame. But I can deal with that. So Vexler wins again. Ooh, from Zoe Sharp. Becca, Saranen, Chapman, Lippinen. Ooh, soft, soft. Okay. Fair enough. I did feel like two stops was not probably the wave that we should have went after we got caught up behind everyone. But what could you do? Should have really gone for softs in the middle. But I didn't realise that we was going to have all the mechanical problems after the first stop. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have been quite happy to just fall upon and be quite fine. So. Oh, Schmidler losing out right at the end as well. Interesting. Right. Any cars in any problems? Not for us, obviously. Hmm, not for anyone else. It's a shame. <laughs> So what does that do for our championship? So Ribeiro slips to 4th because we only got the 1 point. Edda's down to 10th. 
My 13 teams have scored. That's Risotto Corsa into the points now as well. So we are now fifth in the standings, which to be fair is exactly what we said we were aiming for. Van Dort still haven't scored. Their car's good though. That's the problem. If they start getting their cars home, we're in shit. Uh, Chariot again fading in the races. Rosato got points. Kitano got a couple of points again here. Mm. This is going to be a juicy championship to work out. Like genuinely where we are. Because pace wise we're screwed. But if we can keep making the strategies work for us. Uh, and focus a bit more I think on the... Ro it's difficult because we've we've got no performance. But we can't spend all the time focusing on reliability. Because then we don't catch any performance. So it's difficult. Very difficult. But nice to see morale boost for Edda. And improvements on everything. She's getting more of a relationship with Richard McCluskey. Uh, and again, still improvements for Ribeiro as well. So I'm happy with that. She look like look, she's got three stars. She, she's got the capability for being nearly a four-star driver, which is great. Still making Dosh. Well, there we go. So that's the end of episode 36, I believe. Not bad. I thought we was potentially on for a no, po no score at all there at some point. So I'm glad to see that that all came back at the end. Join us again for next Wednesday's episode of Motorsport Manager. If you like what you see, do subscribe and say hello. If you're playing VLAN or any other a Motorsport Manager game, let us know what you're going up to in the comments. I do like listening to what everyone else is doing in their uh, seasons. I'll catch you again here on Higher Plane Games, hopefully. Bye for now. Smooches. <laughs>